Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we're going to be swapping the steering wheel on my Mini Cooper S. So at the moment we've got this horrible looking two-spoke steering wheel you can see just behind me it is the multi-function steering wheel uh, which is uh, if you've got cruise control or heated seats you can adjust that on the steering wheel so uh, if you're doing the swap for yourself make sure you check that before you order your new steering wheel I also have the new steering wheel that we're going to be putting on which is the much more preferable three-spoke Cooper S steering wheel and this as you can see it has the buttons on the front is also a multi-function one so again check that before you order and a little word of warning before you go ahead and do this um, you do need to disconnect the battery that can be found in the boot of the car and uh, you need to leave it for about 15 minutes after you disconnect it because the ECU is programmed to stay running for 15 minutes after you disconnect it so unless you want an airbag warning light on, which none of us do, make sure you disconnect the battery and leave it for a good half an hour, I have, um, just to be on the safe side. So the first job we've got here is removing the old steering wheel, the two-spoke, very ugly steering wheel. Um, a few things you will need for this, um, a ratchet is definitely preferable, um, and you will also need some torque bits, so they look like this, they're like a little star shape. Um, a lot of these minis, they have torque bits all over them, so if you want to do any kind of work on it, then get yourself a set of these, I got these from Halfords, very very cheap, and um, they've served me very well. So the first job, there is two little black screws in the back of the steering wheel on the bottom. I've twisted the steering wheel here so I can access them a little bit easier. Now don't confuse them with the screws on the silver part of the steering wheel because that's to remove the airbag which we don't want to do. So all you need to do is remove, there's two little black screws in the back of the steering wheel and uh, then the front airbag part here should just pop straight off. So slacken those two screws off, we've got the airbag out here and so now you can see the inside, the two screws are located just here and here um, just to make it a little bit easier. I'll show you on the airbag in a minute where they screw in. But once you get it out there are these two clips in here for the airbag you need to remove these because these are the ones that we're going to be clipping onto the new airbag when we put the new steering wheel in. So let's go ahead and remove those. And there we go. So that's what you're going to remove, this little cap. Just keep that for safekeeping for now. And then it will just come out like that. So go in the front first just to loosen it and actually that one's just popped straight out. That's good. And you can see that is the airbag that we've removed. Looks a little bit ugly. It is upside down right now, so I'll put it the right way up. Uh, they're the two little connectors that you'll need to disconnect. And then these here, this one here, and this gold one here, they're both gold. Um, they are the screws that you'll need to remove to get the airbag out. But now that's removed, we can actually take the steering wheel off. So the steering wheel here, it has one big nut that holds the steering wheel on in the middle. Um, depending on whether the steering wheel has been taken off before, it may have Loctite on it, it may not. So I've got a big breaker bar here, it's basically just like a big ratchet. And I've got a 16mm um, little ratchet doohickey. So I'm going to take that bolt off there, it may need a little bit of force. So if in doubt, go and get the biggest breaker bar you have, this is the biggest one I have, and hopefully, I'm going to make it a little bit easier. 
Okay, so with a little bit of help from my mum, <laughs> I managed to get the steering wheel off. So, um, if you have problems with that, I just got my mum to hold the actual steering wheel. And then, with the breaker bar, I loosened the bolt off. Um, so, if the steering wheel is spinning round like it was for me before, then get someone to hold the steering wheel for you while you undo the bolt. And then, once you've got the bolt out, just wiggle the steering wheel and it will come off right like that. Now there is these little connectors um, because I've got the um, all right, because I've got all the buttons and stuff on it um, you will have to disconnect these two little wires in the back we've already disconnected these ones here, these were for the airbag so you don't have to worry about those but that can now go for sale if you want to buy a an R53 uh, steering wheel then uh, hit me up on them DMs so for the next bit what we need to do is we need to remove the airbag here off the new steering wheel so before we can actually fit it in the car we need to remove this so we can actually get to the nut that holds the steering wheel on and we also need to get to the connectors um, that we saw on the other steering wheel that we can plug into this airbag so it's not too difficult, um, basically what it has, I'll show you on my phone here because that's probably a little bit easier, in the back of the steering wheel, this is not very easy, you might be able to see just there, there's like a little, a little bump and there's one on the other side as well and basically what you need to do is just stick your screwdriver through there, it'll make a little hole in the back of the leather and there's two little clips inside what you need to do is get your screwdriver in so I've got a nice long screwdriver here just got a flat head gonna just stick it in and then you need to push it forwards and down and the clip should come out so we'll give it a go and see what we can do so I'm just gonna stick it through the hole here I've got two screwdrivers over here just in case this one's too big and you can see there's a little hole just there in the leather just stick it through there and you want to basically aim for the middle of the steering wheel so you can see the mini logo in the middle there you want to kind of aim for that now it is a little bit tricky I've seen tutorials of this on YouTube and they make it well they don't make it very clear basically um, hopefully I'm making it as clear as I can for you this screwdriver may be a little bit thick so you can see that's quite a thick screwdriver I'm going to have a go with this little one, it's a little bit thinner. Okay, so after a little bit of persuasion, um, I had to go and get a longer screwdriver, a bit of a thinner, longer screwdriver. But I have managed to get it off, you can see this is the airbag here. So it looks a little bit different to the one that we're taking out of the car. Um, it's a little bit more like compact, looks a lot nicer. But you'll see on the back here, it has these two black sort of clips and if I hold it this way you might be able to see that a little bit better um, they are like little sort of clips they're very rigid though so they will not move so the way that you get it off now that I've got it off I can show you the inside of it if you're trying to do it yourself is if you see here there are these kind of massive looking paper clip things and what you want to do is try and knock this side out here so you're coming in with your screwdriver in here so in the top of here you're going to poke down and then try and flick that um, out of the way of those clips and there's also one on this side as you can see so it's not the easiest thing I've never done it before that was the first time I've done it and um, it wasn't too bad I managed to get it out and um, you might just have to be patient with it so if you're struggling with it a little bit just keep trying it took me a good hour to try and get this out of here but uh, as long as you can move them little paper clip things to the side I'll show you again I'll hold it right up to the camera so you can get a proper look you want to get this this side off here so this side and this side right here you don't want to be aiming for this bit under here because you'll never get to that with the screwdriver you want to be getting this and then flick it forwards and then out to the side so it will release it from that little clip 
and then after that you just have to wiggle it a little bit you'll see that it like half pops off it'll make a little pop noise once you've got it out and then you just got a little wiggle it a little bit and it should come out so now we've got that out let's go and put it on the car what we need to do now is line it up so on the um, on the little spindle here the steering wheel sort of column thing right at the bottom there is a tiny little mark like a little cut in the uh, on the face and if you look on the steering wheel here I don't know how visible this is going to be you can see right here there's this little black mark and what you want to do is line those two up so basically when the wheels are straight the steering wheel is going to be in the straight position so if you line those two up wrong when the steering wheel is like this at an angle the wheels might be straight and trust me it's very annoying my other car has that so you don't want that now before you do that you do also need to plug these wires for the stereo and the cruise control and everything like that you need to plug those in so make sure you do that before you put them before you bolt the new steering wheel on uh, you also need to thread these two airbag cables through the steering wheel. There's a little cut out in the top. Make sure you thread those through before you bolt it back on. So we'll put those through like that. And then, a little bit fiddly, you can see the little mark through the centre of the steering wheel here and you can see the one on the steering wheel so you just want to line those up as best you can now this little bit at the back for the multifunction um, does spin around so you need to make sure that that's in the little cutout and there we go that is lined up they are all connected in there let me just check yeah so that's all lined up there now is that a bit of an angle you can see here but the wheels are at a bit of an angle right now so i've lined the two marks up so that's perfect um that is on there all we need to do now is i've got the new nut here and you can see that also has a line on it and so you want to tighten it as much as you can and then you want that line to be in line with the line on the steering column and on the steering wheel so we'll just put that in so you can thread it on with your finger and thumb to start with and then I'm going to use the breaker bar to tighten it in a minute and again you might want someone just to hold the steering wheel so you can like tighten it right down because the last thing you want is driving along and the steering wheel comes off that's not really ideal so I'll just give this a little go with the breaker bar and you can see it's turning the steering wheel now it's not as bad when you're tightening because you can hold it with one hand tighten with the breaker bar like that and that will be absolutely perfect that is more than tight enough you can see that that is turning the front wheels and then all we have left to do after that is the new airbag that we removed inside earlier uh, we need to just connect this up so before you so in a minute we're going to just clip it in but before you do that you want to put these wires in which is not the most easy task yeah there we go so they are connected up now the airbag is connected back on there and then after that it's just as simple as clipping this back on here which is not probably going to be that simple and there we go new R53 steering wheel is installed looks much nicer all the uh, multifunction should work I'll give that a test in a minute you can pick up these R53 steering wheels uh, pretty cheap so um, they do also fit on the R50 mini so if you've got an R50 mini and you want to fit one of these uh, Cooper S steering wheels they do fit as well and they look much nicer in my opinion 
So go ahead, pick yourself one up. You can get them from like uh, scrapyards and things. I found this one online on eBay. Um, and then as you've seen, it's not that difficult to do. You might need someone just to hold the steering wheel when you take the bolt off. But other than that, you can do it completely by yourself. So that's going to do it for the video. Thanks so much for watching. Hope it was useful for you. And I'll see you in the next one.